Hey Siri, what's the top song in the world? Currently topping the charts as well, featuring Megan Thee Stallion by Cardi B. Hello, thank you for joining us today. And I guess today I'm gonna venture off into a topic that I know nothing about. I just go out there, so go collect my food. And but it, I was holding the door open for a family, and apparently wearing a security T-shirt. A man never believes me if I get the food. So I'm gonna get my fork and I'm gonna get my straw. I guess so. But I was gonna do the whole wall, you know, set up and all of that. But now I'm gonna talk about me kinda. Um, don't send this link to my mom because then again, she know I kind of fit in what she is. So do as you please. But I don't venture into controversial topics because of one main reason. A lot of them I am not very averse. A lot of them I don't know a lot about, so I can't speak on it. And some of them may just have a biased opinion, so I'm going to speak on it. However, today we're going to be talking about female genitalia, WAP, the internet's response to WAP, and everything in between. So yeah, I'm always having seafood in my mukbangs. I'm going to be switching it up but for now that's what it is i started on the seafood diet and basically everything other than that irritates me i'll be doing a video about that check out my video i might be uploading it this week about food and me all right so ladies and gentlemen as you can see the number one trending song on all major streaming platforms and one of the most talked about music videos currently on YouTube is WAP, Cardi B featuring Meg Thee Stallion with multiple cameos of strong, influential women. Cheers. So while we talk about all the nasty stuff, we're gonna be devouring some good stuff. Yes. So, um, a lot of the comment section and commentary by males is that why when we say it think about it isn't it? why when we say it when offended but when una say it it's women empowerment because of we you know like like I'm not attempting to I'm going to use that example here. And I hope that it's not misinterpreted. But think about the N-word. Like, think about it. People that are known to have used that word to speak ill of, of, of us as black people. So when you think about women singing about how them underneath good and all of that, Think about the facts say yo, and them for speak on it, them know, I feel them it, you know? I don't know. When a hypocritical bad, big, big hypocrite. And it doesn't start here. As usual, it starts with the corn, right? Women aren't supposed to sexualize themselves. Men are supposed to sexualize us. Men are supposed to tell us what we like. Men are supposed to, you know? Ooh, let me get one okra. This is a first. 
And if I get away, I get away. Mm-hmm. I like my okra how I like my broccoli. A little bit of firmness to it. Watch out too in there. You know, so I can zoom down the broccoli. The broccoli may always get. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is nice. I got the LA boy, which is the garlic butter, Cajun, and one X flavor all mixed together. Butter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It stemmed from a taller time because guess what? We're gonna take it back to I don't know when your first sex ed class was, but um I feel like mine was in the sixth grade when we did like the systems of the body. Mm -hmm. And just because women's orgasm isn't necessary to reproduce we don't learn about that like that's not important right right i'm right right but feel like some right nobody talks about that because i mean It's a conversation that me and a lot of my friends have had, like, oh, when was your first time, you know, like, and a lot of the times are, like, hundreds of decades. And a whole heap of partners later, before you get that, oh, this is actually supposed to feel good. No, because a man's supposed to tell you what feel good. And a man's supposed to tell you, say, you know, you know, you know, be able, you know, enjoy because you know, scream and ball for pain and whew, Lord have mercy. But here we have a song breaking the internet, a song sung by women. The complete video, by the way, which I just rewatched a few minutes ago to make sure that I was giving you facts, I guess. And the fact is, like, there are no men in the music video. Right? It is empowering. You may not see it like that. It may not have empowered you. But I find it empowering. This is a song where females are singing about their pleasure. The things that get them off. The things that they like. And misogyny has led us to believe that we have to comment on it and hate on it. Right, young men? Right, old men? Right, the internet? Like, woo! I'm just saying. You guys are threatened. I'm like, they're literally only talking about things that they like, things that get them off, things that, you know, Men, men should know. Mm -hmm. And then I opened my Instagram a while back. Like, this is actually what, what pissed me off, what made me come on here to do this video. Um, I opened my Instagram and there was this post about like, why are men like, um, can't think of the terminology right now. But why, basically why men feel bad when women have experience, like have had multiple partners or why is the number important? And my only thought is um, their ego. They're threatened. Because again, we live in a world where we were taught that the male pleasure is the most important thing in the world. Mm-hmm. A man alone to come. Also. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. 
So, we live in a world where only the male pleasure is important. You know, man alone for come. A woman for come got him yard. You know? And it sucks. It really sucks. It sucks. Bad. Mm hmm Bad man. We're not supposed we're supposed to I don't know. Everything that women do in sex is supposed to pleasure the male. Everything. It's not about reciprocation anymore. Or was it ever? You ain't bought anymore. Was it ever? Me tell you now. This generation of women have started putting their foot down. They not take foolishness. Mm -mm. So either you come good or you come go home. Mm -hmm. Come go up. I have this friend on Facebook that he posted something about it. And the woman name in the comment section. Oh no, make me shame for now. He was like, why is it empowering when women this, when women that? And the woman them in the comments say, them the girl, them the girl, them the girl. I'm like. So um All we want is equality, at least for me. Honestly, in future, like I do intend to be a stay-at-home mom. Don't get me wrong. So, future husband, you out there making that money? Mind you, I'm making my own money so I can be a stay-at-home mom and go home at like three o'clock, pick up the kids, all of that. Like that, that's a goal of mine. And and cheers to you if you don't want to do it that way. That's what I want to do. But baby girl, with four period, nanny never fight for this. Nanny never fight. Nanny never fight for this. Our ancestors did not did not go through all of that for us to come here and be baboons manding down yamed no but like, i was so mad at the men that were commenting and saying stuff and i did i see this tweet i think i've shared it up quite a few times so going around like if y'all think wap is slack you couldn't handle dance all but remember on a dig out spice too. On a bonfire about spice too. And spice is dance all. On a heat ash on a. Oh man. Oh man. But it, it hurt me to see how the women respond. Now my thing is like. I am usually. I'm not shy. But I'm reserved on some topics. And in some in some scenarios. I'm not the person to speak out and be a force. But I admire people that are. And if you check my role models and people that I look up to, even people that I just follow online, these are people that do things that I wish I had the um, confidence to do. I'm building it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, starting with this video. Like, I love Spice. I love... I love I can't dance to save my life. And I can't command a crowd and an audience like Spice does. My love are bad. I follow Spice. I love Spice that much. Spice is an icon. And when I can say what I want to say, Spice and Miguel. No. That's Spice. Who else my love? My love Spice. Love alkaline. 
What else? I love people that go against the grain. Even though there are so many areas in my life where I'm right along the straight and narrow, I love people that go against the grain. Because for the little weaker people like me, when we see somebody that speaks on things that we are interested in, and, um, opinions and matters that we ourselves have, but we don't, we're, we're shy to, to acknowledge and, and speak out for ourselves. We actually rally behind people that do that for us, even though sometimes we actually sit back and say, oh, like, me want him to do it, but me, me not say not me. me not me. And, and, and it's true. So, we must have wondered how I reached all the way over there, so I'm over there. My point is this, exactly. There are a lot of women out here that definitely believe that some kind of empowerment comes from the video there. Something in that video there where you can say, yeah, me have to go stand behind this. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, my love all the girl them come out for them each other and them this and them that and represent for the pop culture and, you know. But we wouldn't admit it because the masses, right? The masses. Women aren't supposed to like sex. Women aren't supposed to be sexual beings because they want to be sexual beings. They're supposed to be sexual beings because men want them to be. Women aren't supposed to be... We're not supposed to like sex. And we're not supposed to know what we like about sex. We're not supposed to... Guys. We're not supposed to be vocal that we like sex. And that we like certain things about sex. Women aren't supposed to be promiscuous. Women aren't supposed to be... You know? Pure. You have those people that would come to you and say, Girl, I'm just a user for sex. You ever think say me a using for sex? No, because society don't work that way, right? Mm. I'm just a user for sex. Girl, I'm not one to say one thing in one. And that, that's a statement from the beginning of time. But like, suppose I don't want me want. Or suppose I don't want. Suppose I me want that. Suppose I me initiate that. Like, no, because um, no, it, it go against the green. It wrong. When, you know, you know, like, I'm going get you no girl like we're not supposed to like sex that much now i'm not telling anybody to go out and be promiscuous you know i don't recommend it and if you are please wear a condom be safe and don't make him tell about just a tip no baby girl here's a tip from me just a tip can't have your tip in your pharmacist can I forgot to do some kind of backdoor thing for you because you're afraid for that doctor. We should have rehearsed something for putting in this but we never think say go go right this one. No, not just the tip. Be safe. Be um, aware of your, your environment. Um, know your body. Ladies and gentlemen, know your body. Know when something all right. Um, know your limits, how much you can take. Um, it's just these other things. Like we don't talk about, we don't talk about, um, we don't talk about these things. It's taboo. Um, I don't know about you, but I feel like the the first, <coughs> not the first, um. Personally, like for me, outside of like the classroom penis going to vagina conversation, 
Um, I think my friends, my high school friends were, were my, my first sex talk. I never high school, no? primary school. One girl did in a way. Mm -mm. We're, not, we're not go there. We're not go there. But honestly, like conversations about sex. I don't know about you. But all me didn't know say is sex is wrong. That's all I grew up knowing. I only grew up knowing that sex is wrong. You're not supposed to be having sex. Um don't bring on Pitney in my house. Um like that was it. We don't get the conversation about the talk don't exist at, at Jamaica. I mean, it does, it does. I'm gonna put everybody in our group, but the majority don't have the talk. And if they do, I'm guessing that it goes along the line of be safe. But that's just about it. Like sex is just a cautionary tale. The the talk is just a cautionary tale. Like me breed when me in a school, me no want if it happen to you. But like we're just warned against sex and if you must be careful. But there is no forward conversation about sex. Like um it should be pleasurable. Both people should consent to it. Um if it gets too much, you should tap out. You know, like we don't have them conversation and none of that. We not There's none of that. And the little things that we do know about sex is trial and error. Or um trauma and error. We we really don't know nothing about it, you know? And it, it sucks. It sucks. Like my kids, dear Lord, poor them. Poor them. When they come, them I got, even their friends are going to embarrass for me. And I'll be like, did you enjoy it? How was it? I joke. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but like, I want the, the conversation to be so free-flowing that you have a question, you have a comment, something weird. Bro, Pornhub is where I saw my first time in. Like, me just think about it and me Google it. Me, me never, I Googled it. I couldn't find it. It show you like them 3D imaging type stuff. And I went on Pornhub and I typed it in. Now, I'm going to recommend it because it it's scary because somebody I feel, feel you can't see. But um, yeah. So if you don't want to do the cautionary, the cautionary tale to your child about like don't have sex, um, you maybe kind of want to explain to them say oh like the first time I just got tear out, and the first time not supposed to pleasurable, but if it is, you bingo. Like, man, I know I, there are so many things that. My parents never talked to me about, still probably wouldn't talk to me about. Again, do not share this video with my parents or my grandmother. Or my grandmother, I don't show my grandmother. Actually, show them. My business, my business. But like, for real, like, we are not taught about this, this kind of thing. Like, men are, men are, um... Men, like most boys, like in the community and stuff, them can talk to the man name. Like after you reach one certain age and you end up on a certain level and you know, papa finger. So men can have conversations with other men about sex, like what it like and everything. And they can have conversations with women as well. They can have an open conversation. Them can out in a public and talk about it as they have a like, you know? But we as we we as women aren't supposed to, or we don't. The food that turned me off. 
we don't there aren't any positive conversations about sex and females liking sex you know um if there is this is the result this is this is the backlash from the the the, the masses from from society when all a girl wants to know is um is sex made only for men cause um homophobic communities would disagree that you know sex never make for man alone so what you saying like i don't get it you know sing the most songs and big up the most this and talk the most about crutches and oh no 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 not about crutches and i'm just saying no 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 not about crutches hey Ooh. i have so much more to unplug but i feel like this should be a conversation so i'm still going to pitch it to my podcast and me and some of my like-minded friends or even those with differences in opinion will tackle will tackle this topic on my podcast i will be sharing the link very soon we're still in our production phase and yeah so let me know in the comments what you think also you can join my podcast like reach out to me send me a message at tina rebel or in the comment section like i live in the comment section so just like let me know what you guys think um yeah